Hi and welcome to another edition of the Race Report. I'm Ron Hills. We begin this week at Afton Motorsports Park where they began crowning their 2019 season champions. On the microphone are Bud Wazir and Leon Andrus. <laughs> Green is out. We're racing. Gary Miller on the inside. Klinger on the outside. Klinger up on the top side, getting a little momentum out of turn two as they work it down the back stretch side by side. Who's going to lead lap number one at the stripe? It's going to be the 9K of Klinger leading the first time around the speedway. Rosa right there third. Up on the top side, Gary Smith and Anderson rounding out your top five. Back there behind Anderson's the 91 of Bobby Flood, A.J. Digsby looking at his inside there. The 23 of Lauks on the outside, the inside car, the 96 of Dustin Harris trying to gain some traction, gain some spots on the speedway. Lauks saying no thanks, and Harris losing almost two spots there to the 119. Battle here as Dave Klinger continues to open up. Gary Smith and Bobby Flood, they're battling right now for four and five. Flood on the inside, Smith on the top side. We got a battle brewing now for second. Gary Miller's got it. Dave Rosa wants it. He's looking down on the inside. We got a lot of folks in the back of the pack biding their time. Three wide here coming out of turn number four. Fred Smith on the top side. Five laps down coming around this time around. It'll be six laps in the books led by Blaine Clear in the 9K. Followed by Dave Rosa in the 61. The one I'm a Mike. Gary Miller in the 1M, the 91 of Bobby Flood. Seven up of Smith, the 99 of Digsby, 73-8. Now a battle between Brandon Lauchs and Gary Smith. That is for position six and seven. Hang on, we Ooh. got contact. We got Fred Smith right inside of the Ryan McCartney machine. Then Brandon Christ, he went sideways to avoid contact. Nice job by the youngster to get that car cranked around. But you can see that 119, he is lodged. That is what's called stuck together. They come by this time, just four laps to go. Klinger, your leader. Bobby Flood now going to put a challenge on the 1M of Gary Miller. Down on the inside between turns one and two. Down two and down the back stretch they go. Look to the inside now, down turn three, coming out of four. We might have a new second place car in the form of the 91 of Bobby Flood. Make it happen, lap 17. Does he have anything for the leader? 9K of Blaine Klinger. He's only got two and a half laps to figure it out, but he's pulled away from the 1M of Miller. Here they come. Parallel sticks are in the air. Two laps to go. Klinger, your leader. Bobby Flood trying to close in. Now Rosa working on Gary Miller. That's for three and four. Digsby back there fifth. As they work it down to turn three and out of four, they come the white flag being shown from starter Scotty Stevens Klinger. He's led basically from the drop of the green. Bobby Flood giving the last ditch effort. That's the only car in the top five. Hang on, Made Flood taking a bid. He could almost took himself around. Klinger's going to get the win. Flood for two, Gary Miller for three, Digsby for four, Rosa for five, Brandon Lauchs for six. Green flag is out. We're back racing. Side by side down the front stretch. Looks like Roberts going to have the advantage down into turn one. Oh, Matt Roberts a little bit hard into one. Slams in the back of Steve Cummins and takes himself around for caution number two. Here on lap zero, a little overzealous with the, the throttle pedal that time. Had a good run going into one. Wasn't expecting the seven of Cummings to be there when he got there. Green flag is out. We're back. We're racing. 3G of JT Rowe leading your field down into turn number one. Gary Roberts in the U2 machine way up high on the outside using that little bit of cushion. Taking away the lead going down the back stretch. Taking advantage of that little bit of extra bite there on the top side of the speedway. Lap number one, leader is going to be Gary Roberts, the fireball. JT Rowell running second. The X-Car, Leonard Miller running third. The S360 taking over fourth from Steve Cummings. Excuse me, Jimmy Cummings. Three wide back there. Bo Ballard making himself a little sandwich between Tyler Stoddard and Jimmy Cummings. Two laps in the book. 
613, Matt Roberts running that way high side, close to that front stretch wall, trying to get a little bit of extra traction, take that same line that his dad, Gary Roberts, is now using to lead the field by about 10 car lengths on th lap number three. Back to Leonard Miller in the X car, the S360 of Mike Stoddard, Bo Ballard, and JT Rowell right there at his back bumper. Bo Ballard at his side door now for position number three. Going to take it away, coming off a of two. Oh, they might be hooked. Oh, they were hooked. Whoa, around goes the S360 of Mike Stoddard. Green flags back out. Hammers are back down for the U2. Gary Roberts leading them down into turn number one, followed by the X car. Leonard Miller, Bo Ballard in the 15. Gary, Matt Roberts way high on the top side there. Turns one and two. Trying to do everything he can to get between, up, over, around the 3G of JT Rowe. Gary Roberts leading lap number four. Bo Ballard looking at the inside of the X car. Leonard Miller, Matt Roberts making the pass on the inside of JT Rowe. Going back to the top shelf, see if he can get around the seven of Jimmy Cummings. And the 16 of Aaron Jacobs. Five laps going to be in the books now for U2 of Gary Roberts. 15, Bo Ballard running second. The X-Car, Leonard Miller and Tyler Stoddard running side-by-side side for third and fourth. Matt Roberts made his way back up to fifth now, running that extreme top side there, getting all the bite he can up high. Matt Roberts back to the top shelf there. Bo Ballard knocking on the back door of Gary Roberts now. Looks like he might have a little bit of competition in the form of his son, Matt Roberts. And that powerful 613 machine, he's found himself something up high. It might have been what he needed here to get the make up the ground on Pops. Bo Ballard looking at the inside now. Gary, Gary's fixing to be a Roberts sandwich here. Nine laps in. We got ourselves a battle here coming up for the lead with 10 laps in. Still Gary Roberts. Matt Roberts making it up to second. I'll pass Bo Ballard on the top side there. Oh, Gary Roberts loses a wheel. Left wheel has lost the U2. It's headed for the cornfield. No, it's just still on the track. Oh, what a heartbreak. Green is back out, and we're back racing. Bo Ballard showing the way. Matt Roberts working the high side of the speedway, the 613. They come around, complete lap number 11. Ballard in that Pizza Plus machine showing the way. Now Tyler Stoddard gets underneath the 3G of J.T. Rowan, the seven of Cummings, to take over position number five. White flag out. Matt Roberts gonna make one last ditch effort. He was down on the inside, working it hard, trying to close in on Bo Ballard. Leonard Miller now getting by Aaron Jacobs. Hang on, there goes the final two cars around in front of your leaders. That's gonna bring out a caution. Out of the turn they come. There's the green. Matt Roberts trying to dig in, trying to find a place to make a move. Working down on the inside of Bo Ballard. Bo Ballard, will he shut the door? Matt Roberts right there. Will he try a high-low switch? Checkered flag going to fly. The win going to go to Bo Ballard. Matt Roberts for two. Tyler started for three. Leonard Miller for four. Aaron Jacobs for five. Nice easy pace being led down into turn number three, turn number four, green flag is out. Side by side past the flag are staying three rows deep. Damon Decker gonna take the early advantage coming off of turn number one. They're three wide back there for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Looks like we got a pair of greens sandwiching a cronk in the middle. We got one going around the old one of, oh, the one of Crandall takes it around, collects the 36 of force. The 77 of Miller and the 20 of Dusty Decker. Green flag is out. Hammers are down the 3K. Damon Decker leading them down into turn number one. Paul Hamus nudging the 3K. The 180, the 109D of Rich Green sneaking up there into third, looking to the inside of the KP1, trying to look to the inside of the 3K, K3K, hugging the bottom. 
not giving an inch on that bottom side. KP1 looking to the outside. Now the 57 looking at the inside of the 109D. Butch looking at the inside of Rich for position number three. Shane Wolf back there in fifth, watching it all unfold in front of him. Back a few more spots to force to the other Paul Hamas in the 98P of the Steve variety. 74D of Larry Miller. The 01 of Dave Kronk. The 20 of Dusty Decker. Bob Crandall and Ralph Kuza running out your field here on lap number two. Damon Decker's still in the lead here on lap number three. Butch Green's made his way around Rich Green. Rich Green now has his sights set on the KP1 of Doug Paul Hamas for position number two. Down into turn number three. Out of turn number four. Hammers are down. The green flag is out. Damon Decker leads him down into turn one. Paul Hamas goes way up to the top side. Trying to get a run down that back stretch to get around the 3K of Damon Decker. Running on the top side. There's turn three. One more corner remains. Checkered flag flies for Damon Decker. Followed by the KP1 of Doug Paul Hamas, the 109D of Rich Green, the 81 of Shane Wolf Jr., and the 98P of Steve Paul Hamas. Thirty years of satisfied customers. That's the proud history of Brush and Pallet Auto in Candor. We have a large selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Here is this week's car of the week. We'll give you a one thousand dollar minimum trade in, and we have financing options to fit your needs, including a first time buyer's program. Think you can't afford it? We think you can. Check us out at brush-pallet.com or visit us in person at five ninety eight Owego Road in Candor, New York. Unicorn Electronics in the Valley Plaza, Johnson City, has the best pricing and selection of audio, video, and computer cables in the area. Don't spend a fortune on that HDMI cable for your new HDTV or Blu-ray player. Unicorn Electronics has quality cables in the lengths you need at a price you can afford. Expanding your network, Unicorn has the patch cables and accessories to make it happen. When you need to connect, think Unicorn Electronics in the Valley Plaza, Johnson City. If you're looking for the most convenient and profitable way to change your gold jewelry, coins, and sterling silver into cash, visit Solid Gold Jewelry. Main Street in Enwell. Solid Gold Jewelry. Always a sweet deal. Hey, car buffs. Listen up. If you like them, we got them. And you'll love the Northeast Classic Car Museum. Over 170 cars on display in our huge one-level facility. Whatever the weather, we're open seven days a week from 9 to 5 in Norwich. It's exciting. It's family fun. It's Bethel Motor Speedway, NASCAR's newest wheel and all-American weekly track in the heart of the Catskill Mountains. Every Saturday night, NASCAR modified sportsmen, street stocks, pro stocks, and four-cylinders battle for national titles, plus the Hynix legends and bandoleros. Bethel Motor Speedway, one of Sullivan County's many attractions. Come for the night or make it a weekend. Check them out online at BethelMotorSpeedway.com. Bethel Motor Speedway. Feel the excitement. Welcome back to the race report to Bethel Motor Speedway. First to four-cylinder action. On the microphone are Andy Crane, Thomas Crane, and Fred Moharan. Let's count them down. Ready? Three, two, one. George Van Aken taking an early lead out in the front. He worked off the outside, and he's going to bring Dan Hotelling on the outside lane, too. Nicole Nelson in the Ed Lindstadt car is still trying to fend on the inside for spot number two. Both the Hotellings behind her. And as George Van Aken continues to stretch out the lead, Nick Curry, he's coming up on the inside. They go three wide in corner number four. And the hotelings battle for spot number three. Aiken shows away down the back straightaway. Then Nicole Nelson watched three cars set to fight. 
for spot number three as these drivers know time is of the essence. Only 10 laps in the crash and burn shootout. And right now it's George Van Aken showing the way down the back straightaway. They go three wide on the back stretch and Terry Williams on the inside in the T28. Nicole Nelson still getting spot number two. As Watch him work down the back straightaway. Contact between two cars. Dan Curry getting into another racing car. I believe that was Nick Curry. But all cars still going straight, and they are clean and green. As this time by, five laps, going to go in the record books. Five down, five to go in the crash and burn shootout. We finally have a battle for spot number two. It's Terry Williams and Nicole Nelson. Nicole Nelson having the Ed Lindstadt car. And Terry Williams going on the inside, now ducks back out, trying to cross him over as Georgia and Aiken. He's gotten a good early lead, and he's stretching it out. Can anybody catch him is the question. Well, the battle is on for spot number two, so those two cars are occupied with the battle between themselves. Of course, we have documented Nicole Nelson's car has a lot of parts from the old Eddie Lindstadt championship four-cylinder car. So we'll see if there's a little magic left in car number 11 to try to reel in George Van Aken. Van Aken has led this thing from the drop of the green flag. We are on the top side of the 10 lap shootout. It's still the blue 33 car showing the way. Now George Van Aken is still stretching out his lead. Drop down to spot number two. It's Terry Williams challenging for spot number two. Drop down to spot number four and five. It's the hoteling still as two more laps to go in this Ed Lindstadt Memorial Race. Corner number four, they go three wide again. Nick Curry ducked out of it. He was on the inside of that. And the inside car of that three wide was a lap car. White flag coming out. Last lap of racing action here in the crash and burn shootout. Eddie Lindstadt will be down smiling, watching these cars racing around the speedway. George Van Aken looking for his first win of 2019. The checkered flag coming out, and George Van Aken will take the win. Started good, let it all the way until the end. George Van Aken in the 33. Spot number two, Nicole Nelson, the Ed Lindstadt car. Spot number three, Terry Williams and the T28. So the Wayland Engineering caution lights have been turned off. Todd Lovelace eyes the field as they head into turn number three. Watch them as they hit the line in the middle of turn four and the green flags out, we're underway. And Brian Jones gets on the pedal hard, has the advantage, but oh, oh my God, coming up a turn number four, Archie Aaron really got sideways. And we've got a car on the infield. Looks like the 424 of Matt Curry ends up on the grass. I'll tell you what. I don't know how they got through corners three and four because Jerry Curry was in the grass the whole way down the back stretch. Green flag flies. We're underway. And the field heads down the front stretch again. Brian Jones able to get a run on the high side. But Archieri gets back out in front as they head down. A little bit of contact as they go into three and four. Jones trying to hang on to the second spot. Jerry Curry riding the rails on the high side of the track. The 97 car of Jeff Parker staying with the leaders as he holds on to that inside line. Parker now taking over third, now battling for second. Watch Parker go down to the bottom side, battle with another red car. It seems like if you have a red race car, you are at the front of the field. Top four cars don the red prism on the sheet metal. And now watch Bill Papula start to make his way up into the top three running order with car number one as he looks to battle it out with the New Jersey native of Jeff Parker back in spot number two. And everybody trying to chase down the blue light special as Dan Archieri continues to lead the way. Parker right now sitting in second. A little bit of contact between the one car of Apulo and the 21 of Yanoni. Yanoni into the corner. Oh, oh, corner contact. 
Papula able to hang on, steal some contact as they hand down the back stretch into three and four. Trouble for Jerry Curry as Curry has broken a left rear shock on the race car. That sits the back side of the car, the left side of the car down on the tire, down the front straightaway and watch him work as Jeff Parker quick to the inside, to the outside, trying to find the top spot and he will do so going into corner number one. Oh, trouble. And more contact sending around the 39 of Brian Jones. We're going to see who's going to be flying high here tonight as watch Jamie Anoni on the high side of the speedway wrestle away spot number one. Jamie Anoni, the cyclone to the top spot. And you know he's leading the way now as Parker Darrell holds on to second spot, but look out. Here comes the point leader, Ed Dockenhausen. He might have something to say about who's going to finish this race out in front as he rides the back bumper of Parker. Now little tap gets in underneath. Parker able to keep the spot. Little bit of smoke coming from the 39 of Brian Jones. Keep your eye on that as the smoke continues to get worse. We'll have to see if Jones will make it through the rest of the race. That seems to have a little blue tint to it, and a blue tint is no good for the power plant as we see more and more smoke begin to bellow out of the 39 car. We'll keep our eyes on that one as this time by, halfway down, halfway to go for the Cyclone, Jamie Yanoni out of Newburgh, New York, showing the way with car number 21. Hitting the gas, the green flag's out, we're underway. Watch him work through one and two. Eddie Dockenhausen plays me in my shadow, hammers the back bumper of Jamie Yanoni. Yanoni still holds the top spot through three and four. Final turns, final time. It's going to be the Cyclone, Jamie Yanoni, to take the win. Dockenhausen spot number two, Parker spot number three, Bill Papula spot number four, and how about Josh Wilbur spot number five. Great drive for that young man aboard car number 12 getting himself a top five feature finish you're watching the race report on fox 40 98.1 The Hawk, Binghamton's number one for new country. That means more Luke. I can't move when you move. More Carrie. Now I'll have to hang you out to try, try, try. More Jason. Well, come on, everybody's more Keith. It's blue, it's on the sky. More Blake. Glenn and Tracy in the morning. Binghamton's number one for new country. 98.1 The Hawk. For three generations, we've been building world-class American performance. Like the new Edelbrock Power Package Top End Kit, based on Edelbrock's powerful RPM crate engines. Each kit includes aluminum heads and intake, cam and lifters, gaskets, and hardware to build your own 400-plus horsepower Chevy small block. For three generations, it's pure American performance from the leader. Call now for your free Edelbrock catalog. Edelbrock makes them right, right here in the USA. It's exciting. It's family fun. It's Bethel Motor Speedway, NASCAR's newest wheel and all-American weekly track in the heart of the Catskill Mountains. Every Saturday night, NASCAR modified sportsmen, street stocks, pro stocks, and four-cylinders battle for national titles, plus the Hynix Legends and Bandoleros. Bethel Motor Speedway, one of Sullivan County's many attractions. Come for the night or make it a weekend. Check them out online at BethelMotorSpeedway.com. Bethel Motor Speedway. Feel the excitement. 30 years of satisfied customers. That's the proud history of Brush and Pallet Auto in Cander. We have a large selection of cars, trucks, and SUVs. Here is this week's Car of the Week. We'll give you a $1,000 minimum trade-in, and we have financing options to fit your needs, including a first-time buyer's program. Think you can't afford it? We think you can. Check us out at brush-pallet.com or visit us in person at 598 Owego Road in Cander, New York. 
a big weekend of racing straight ahead. On Friday night, Afton Motorsports Park will crown their modified champion. Friday is the Downtown Vintage Festival in Watkins Glen. The action begins at 9.30 at Smalley's Garage with a reenactment of the original tech inspections back during the 1948-52 era. All day there will be great cars on display, vendors, activities, inductions into the Walk of Fame. Then at 2.30, Hurley Haywood is the guest speaker at the Legend Speaks in Lafayette Park. All that followed by the reenactment of the original race on the streets of Watkins Glen. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there is great vintage racing action at Watkins Glen International. For more information, log on to theglen.com. On Saturday, Bethel Motor Speedway is in action, including double features for the BMS Modifieds. For all of us at the Race Report, thanks for watching. Until next week, I'm Ron Hills. And I'll see you at the races. And about a five car lane. Oh, lead one car the around. And it's the 93 car of Ed Dockenhausen. Dockenhausen was running in spot number three. The yellow lights have been turned out. This could be the final restart in tonight's 30 lap main event. Green flag set to fly off of the corner. The drag race is on. And watch the leaders work through one and two. LaPolte to the bottom. And it's Dockenhausen on the top side fighting tooth and nail for the top spot. And they are going to get the five to go. Signal this time by as Skip LaPolte has the advantage going into one and two. But Tyler Dockenhausen. Staying right with him, wheel to wheel on the outside line. Now, we saw earlier in the race when Skip was forced to run that inside line. He was having a little bit of trouble keeping the car down. Right now, it looks like they are dead even going through the turns. But can Skip's car continue to do that and continue to handle? Well, he has about a nose out in front, but you see Dockenhausen trying to re rebound on the outside part of the speedway this time by. The two lap to go indicator will be out. Only two more laps of racing to go. And two to go. Skip LaPolte continues to run that inside line. Tyler Dockenhausen staying right with them, but LaPolte able to maintain about a bumper's lead. The white flag is out. One to go. It's a quarter mile drag race with two left-handed turns in the middle of it. Watch him wheel down the back straightaway for the final time. Checkered flag set to fly. Down to the line they come. It's going to be the lightning bolt. Skip LaPolte to hang on to the victory. Second will be Tyler Dockenhausen. Third.